Welcome to day 234 of our DSO journey, sponsored by CryptoDroids. I'm Ed Krasenstein, here with my twin brother, Brian. Yeah, so CryptoDroids, they have a game coming, a battle zone game in Discord, and you're going to be able to battle amongst your own droids solo or in gangs. Uh, should be interesting. Stay tuned for that. I know Lane's working hard on that. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah, it, it really sounds exciting. I really like what Lane's doing with this, and I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Uh, yesterday, Fast Freddy, in a reply to Nordian, said that they're working on creating promotional videos for YouTube, uh, like videos such as what is DSO or what are creator coins. They're working on these. Some pro they're working on creating some pro professional videos that they're then going to use to advertise on YouTube. And Fast Freddy mentioned Whiteboard Crypto, which is a big crypto YouTube channel that essentially teaches people about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. They have 263,000 followers or subscribers on YouTube. So that's good. I mean, I, I think it's good to be able to put these ads out there and attract new people into the platform. We're just kind of seeing daily actives fade away a little bit. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, you, YouTube can be a really powerful tool just because people are very visual. And if they go to YouTube and they start browsing around for crypto or for social media and they see an ad for something like DSO and it's a, a really well-produced ad, they, that can really drive people and let them understand what DSO is all about rather than having you read like a four-page blog post. So I think it's a great idea. Uh, I hope they do similar things for other social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, where maybe they create some, some already formatted ads that other users can take and use to drive traffic to their referral link. Something like that could be pretty valuable, I think. Yeah, that, most definitely. I, I, I think it's just a positive, you know, DSO has this huge bank account with, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars that they can spend on advertising. So. I think the community is looking forward to seeing some of that money being spent to bring more people into the community. Uh, also yesterday, Shubham made a, made a post to Natter and asked if he's concerned about daily active users being down. I think they're down a little over 15% over the last week, which is pretty significant. You know, you kind of expect this to start picking up and it hasn't picked up like I think a lot of people have hoped for. I think the Coinbase listing is going to do a lot to help bring more people in. I think the advertising is going to help, but a lot of people thought the referral, referral marketing would be like that catalyst to really pour the fuel in the fire. And, you know, it was at first, but it's kind of dwindling out now. But Natter's response was really interesting. He said, no, he's not concerned at all. He said, big things are coming. And in the meantime, Zordon and over Zordon, of course, is Diamond Apps creator and over 200 other developers are iterating to create great products that will 1000 X usage, 1000 X usage. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, that would have, be, what do we have? 20, 2,500 or so daily active users I right think now? 3,000, I, I think around 3,000 or so. So that's 3 million daily actives. Um, I, I think we all got to play the long game here. And I, I know like people are like, and us included, we were touting, oh, referrals are going to be big. It's going to explode things or a Coinbase listing, it's going to make things explode. But I think ultimately what's really going to drive the long-term users who are going to stick around is these other, these other layer twos and these projects that are building on top of DSO who are going to be onboarding people themselves. So like if, you, if you're going to have the NFT nodes onboarding NFT people, maybe you'll have charity nodes onboarding people interested in charity. Maybe you'll have a sports node. I think you need to target people based on the node that they're going to rather than just target a general node like diamond app i mean that's going to work to some respect but if you're ultra if you're ultra targeting these niches you're going to have a much much better user retention rate yeah and you know like i, I wonder what they're going to do about referral links so their fund octane fund natter also mentioned octane fund there a lot of these programs are going to be getting funding from octane fund soon as well but all these new nodes that pop up, they're going to be getting funding. Are they expected to use that funding to pay out for referrals? Or will that will 
will the fund also cover referrals on all these new nodes? Because I think referrals on individual nodes and an and a way for each node to onboard users in, a, in their own specific niche, in their own specific way is of the utmost importance. I think that's how you're really gonna bring people on the platform. But hopefully, I mean, I'm hoping that they give money to all the nodes as referrals come in as well. So let's say I'm running a NFTZ. I have an onboarding page. I have a link, a referral link that everybody can get. If somebody hands out these referral links to other artists who want to mint, on, mint NFTs on DSO, and these artists come on, sign up, get their $25, us as NFTZ, are we going to have to pay them that $25? I hope that the Octane Fund kind of covers all the referrals, at least in the early stages, for all these nodes. Yeah, I, I, I would imagine and hope that they're going to go on a case-by-case -case basis because some of these nodes might be not targeting new users. You know, I, I think they're going to have to look at each, each project on a case-to-case -case basis. I mean, even some of these projects aren't nodes. So, I mean, if, this, if, you th if they think that this node has a potential to really drive, drive new users, then they should say, hey, we're giving you X for the funding, and then we're going we're gonna to put X amount of dollars into an account for you guys to use for onboarding via referrals. And I think something like that could be really powerful uh, but they have to do it in a smart way, an intelligent way, so that it's not abused, and so that so that they're not giving a ton away to these pro all these projects that might not use it. Yeah, that, I agree a hundred percent. So, in other news, Tyne yesterday, he's our master at getting stats and analyzing them on D. So he noted that fourteen percent of referred users have been active. Only fourteen percent of those who have been referred to the platform have been active. So for every 100 people who were referred, only 14 are still active. And, you know, I think that's a little disappointing. I think we're hoping to see, see more user retention among those who have been referred. I, I think we're going to wait and see how it goes over the long run because we're still in the early stages. See how it goes once some of these other nodes start popping up. And when, once we get coin, coin base, coin, coin base listing, I always forgot what Coinbase was called. But um, yeah, 14% is not that great, but he also put out, threw out some suggestions to time. And some of those suggestions on keeping these users engaged were to re-engage users via email. And that, I think that would be an awesome thing. Like maybe once a week, you send out a newsletter to everyone on DSO, everybody who's given their email, send out a newsletter, given the updates, what happened that week, what, you know, what's coming, maybe an interview with some of the core team, and just to keep these people engaged, maybe highlight some of the top posts of the week, the ones that have received the most interest. And an another one of his, what, I mean, what do you think about that? Do you think- I, you know, I think like a weekly newsletter would be awesome. Um, I was under the impression that some sort of notification feature was coming where you get an email notification or a text notification or just a notification on your phone somehow when you get a diamond or when you got a new, a new reply to a post. I think that- that's something like that's needed. And I think, I, I think a combination of a notification system and a weekly newsletter, I, I mean, uh, I think that'll be super powerful. What we have people just kind of forgetting about DSO. And if you're going to highlight some of the things that are happening on DSO every week in an email, I mean, that's going to bring back a huge amount of users and they're going to come back. They're going to read it. They're going to see what's going on. Like you said, maybe they can post some of the more popular posts of the last week, some of the news items of the week, and it's going to create engagement. And obviously like that's going to be something that will really blow up the number of engaged active users. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if this is done from the protocol level or from the individual nodes, you know, like does diamond app do this or does DSO, the DSO foundation do it? And if Diamond App does it, I mean, they're technically would they be pulling people who originally signed up to, to BitCloud. So I, I think there's some, there's some logistics there that need to be worked out on how the best way to send an email out to users would be. But I definitely think it's, it would be a very valuable tool in helping user retention, helping some of these people who have been referred to come back and re-engage with the community. You know, you send links out to, in these emails, you can have links to various posts that, you know, are essentially asking for engagement so these people can go there and engage with the post. I think, I think that's, you know, one of the top, top ways we can keep users on board. Um, Tyne also mentioned splitting the $25 referral up over a five-week period with specific milestones. And 
again, I think that's something good too. I don't know, you know, I think, I think if you split it up in $5 segments it might kind of curtail referrals a little bit. Maybe you start with a $10 referral and then you start doing $5 for like a month after that, or maybe like even two or three months after that you could do if it, if it means users are going to be re-engaging with the community. Yeah. I mean, it could be something as simple as get your first 50 diamonds and you'll get another $5 or get your first six replies to a post. You know, it could just, they could kind of make it into like a game of sorts. But, but I think the issue, the issue is that I, do you do that at a protocol level or do you do that at a layer two level? And I think that's, that's the problem they're having with a lot of these ideas. Yeah. And finally, what Tyne suggested was um, SMSs. So essentially text messages to people who sign up with their ref referral link and tell them, listen, you just signed up. If you use this link, you can refer as many people as you want and get $5 when they, when they verify. So, I mean, that might be an, another good way to get some of the people that are signing up to spread the word to their friends and their community so that they have more people within their community to communicate with on DSO. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I think an SMS, I, an idea with SMSs would, would be great as well. And you can make the SMSs also provide maybe updates on, on notifications. It could be a notification, hey, you just got a reply to your post or something like that. And you could maybe allow the user to create what, what notifications they want. I don't know. I, I think something is needed to retain users. I mean, all other social platforms they provide some sort of notification system, whether it's email or whether it's within the app. I mean, you have cloud feed that's kind of doing that, but not everybody's using cloud feed. So I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I'm sure they're thinking about it. I'm sure they have ideas that are swirling around in their heads. Yeah. And finally, cloud punk yesterday made a tweet on Twitter, essentially bragging. I don't want to say bragging, essentially talking about how much they earned creating nfts on DSO, and they emphasize how it's also free to create nfts on DSO. so they made approximately four hundred twenty thousand dollars minting nfts on DSO, and they wanted the twitterverse they wanted the twitter sphere to know about this and i think it's great that they're going on twitter and spreading the word about DSO in this way because there's so many nft artists out there on twitter who have who have really had a hard time gaining traction with their Ethereum based NFTs or their Solano based NFTs. So I think it's, I think it's great to have, uh, to allow Twitter to kind of find DSO. And I, I, I wish more NFT artists who have been successful would be on Twitter spreading this word. I mean, that's an incredible amount of money. I mean, DSO has been around for what, eight months or so. And they've made nearly half a million dollars uh, on, a D on a DSO protocol on NFTs that just launched. So, I, I mean, that, that's incredible. I, I would like to see a lot of projects be doing that, but for, for now, I mean, that's a great case study for how a successful NFT artist can come to DSO, gas, no gas prices, and becomes a huge success. And that's what they've done. And these I mean, artists are also behind you know? other projects too. And that's just the cloud punk. I mean, there's badass baboons and several others that they've been working on. So, I mean, it, it's a great success story. That's all I can say. Yeah. I, I, and I think we, I hope we see more stories like that coming on Twitter. And I think that's all the news we have today for day 234. And we'll talk to you tomorrow on day 235.